Today, I want to share a message with you on the topic of mental health. All proceeds from this video will go directly to the Sandy Hook Promise. All ad revenue, all Pesci merch sales, all memberships will go directly to supporting the Sandy Hook Promise nonprofit organization. You've probably heard this statement many times by people you know. When I become wealthy, I will give to charitable causes like the Sandy Hook Promise. But I'm here to tell you that for the entire month of May, my company, Pesci Media, and all the channels we represent and earn money from will put their money where their mouth is by donating all proceeds to support an organization that focus not just on mental health, but the promise of protecting our students by offering solutions to help end school shootings. You see, back when January of 2022, I was in my culinary lab room cooking with my students as their culinary instructor when a code red was called on my school's campus. Without hesitation, all students were moved to secure room in the lab room to hunker down. Reports were coming in from various sources on students' phones that there had been a shooting on campus. A student was shot, one student reported. According to the Washington Post, more than 360 students have experienced gun violence at school since Columbine. There have been 394 school shootings since 1999. There was a student on my campus who actually sustained wounds from the shooting. The shooter was identified and caught by law enforcement. It was a scary day that unfolded right before our eyes. Every teacher's worst nightmare. Most questions, including myself, would today be the last day I teach? See my kids see my wife, or talk to my parents. When SWAT with their guns drawn comes into your room, loaded and ready, the reality of school shootings becomes a reality. When you are on the front line of a low-paying job, working in a career that isn't much appreciated, school shootings becomes a reality when they occur. Stateline.org wrote an article titled, One Third of Mass Shootings Committed by People with mental health illnesses, the study says. Here is what we summarized in the article. The article discussed a study indicating that around one-third of mass school shootings in the United States are committed by individuals with a history of mental illness. It highlights the complexity of the relationship between mental illness and gun violence, emphasizing the need for comprehensive approaches to address both mental health issues and gun violent prevention. The study findings underscore the importance of identifying and addressing mental health concerns while also addressing broader social factors that contribute to mass shootings. At Pesci Media, our mission statement is to educate tomorrow's generation. I want to say that again because it's something that we do across all of our platforms. We educate tomorrow's generation. And we will continue to educate tomorrow's generation. We've been able to do that by creating different niche-based educational channels. And I'm here to address that while our mission is to educate tomorrow's generation, we're also called to plant seeds and find ways to contribute to educational growth mindset values. As a former educator, I know the importance in making sure students take on the growth mindset and never stop the learning process. Today, tomorrow, and for the entire month of May, we are going to stand firm in making sure that happens. Every video created on our channels earns some form of ad revenue. When you watch our content this month, you will have a direct link in helping us not only raise funding for the Sandy Hook Promise, but you'll also help us raise awareness for the future of mental health in America. I constantly tell my own children that no matter how successful you become in life, you need to remember to never forget where you came from. I think people who have reached that level of success sometimes forget what it was like to be at rock bottom. Mental health is important to me and it should be important to you. 
I hope you'll join me for the entire month and binge watch all our content across all of our channels. Smash the like button as it helps raise awareness for this cause. The more you hit that like button, the more YouTube will recommend it. The more it is recommended, the more people will see it. The more people that see it, the more money we can raise for the Sandy Hook Promise. At the end of the month, we will share with our community how much we raised and we will send off those funds as promised to the Sandy Hook Promise. I made a commitment that with my company would take proper measures to ensure we leave a lasting legacy behind in supporting all our nonprofits. I made a promise that I would use my platform for good since I myself understand and have experienced my fair share of mental health issues in the past. We all go through ups and downs in life and I'm no different. But what I can tell you is this, I feel, I care, I break, I know pain, I have made mistakes, I grow, I learn, I heal, and I do the best I can to honor the verse found in Matthew 22, verse 39. Love others as well as you love yourself. So for the entire month of May, you can purchase these mental health awareness bracelets for $8 on our website, PeshiMerge.com. Or check out the description in any of our videos to find the link to our site. All proceeds go to benefiting the Sandy Hook promise. It's okay to not be okay. Or as the great Nightbird once said, you cannot wait until life is not hard anymore before you decide to be happy. This platform and all the channels will continue to be a knight in shining armor for the greater good of others as we continue to grow our communities. I just ask that you share this message to those you love and have them share this message. If we all play a role in passing this video around, it could go viral and it could raise not just awareness, but it could raise a lot of funding in tune that can go to an organization that puts prevention measures in place to provide students with resources that focuses on mental health and mental well-being. We have to share and talk about mental health and we have to address the concerns and create prevention strategies and methods to prevent these school shootings from continuing to happen in this country. Join me and let's make an impact this May.